Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm somewhere different and I'm joined by my friend Tyler. And today we're going to be talking about our skincare holy grails. Now skincare for me has, you know, only within the last couple years I've started getting into it. So I just figured I would share with you along with someone who's very passionate about skincare. Oh, yeah. Just things that we're, you know, things that we love using. So our first two products are going to be like cleansers and exfoliators. And then we're basically just going to be talking about random stuff. So I'm going to go first and my first skincare holy grail would be the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser and it says it's a gentle liquid formula that cleanses without over drying or stripping skin and this is for all skin types. Now I really like this because um, I think for a while people were really getting into foaming cleansers whereas mm -hmm. actually foaming cleansers aren't really great for your skin because they actually tend to strip your skin and make it drier. So this one is sort of like a gel cream formula and I use the entire Ultra Facial range and I think it's just a really really great line from Kiehl's. You know, Kiehl's formulates stuff for sensitive skin so it's never usually heavily scented or scented at all and it never really irritates your skin so yeah I definitely love this one. Awesome. I use the Anthony for Logistics um, Algae Facial Cleanser and um, I've been using this a lot. It's lasted me over a year. Um, so same kind of thing. It, uh, it's for normal to dry skin fragrance free and it's not foaming either um, so it doesn't dry my skin out and that's why I love it because it just keeps everything really moist and it does do a great job at um, cleansing. The one thing, the sort of drawback for me is that it doesn't have any sort of um, nitty gritty to it so as a guy sometimes you want that when it's you know you have a beard going or you have facial hair you want to get some of that um, Kind of like more of a scrub? A scrub, exactly. Mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. that's the word I'm looking for. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and then you also mentioned that when you first started using it, you broke out, right? Yeah, I really broke out. And I find that when I use a new cleanser, I break out maybe for like the first few times, if not like about a week. Do you know why that happens? Um, so what I've read and what I've seen over the years is just that whenever we use new products, it's because it's drawing out all the toxins that are in your skin. So when you're using mm. something new, your skin's not used to it. And if it's doing a good job, that's why it draws everything out. So I think it's only happened mm. to me like once or twice where I've tried a new product and then all of a sudden three or four zits pop up. And if you know me, I don't really get zits a lot anyway. So that's when I know that something's up. But as you said, like stick with it and you'll see the results. And yeah, I believe that all skincare is, is kind of like that. You have to use it more than once to really get a good idea of what works. And not be afraid to switch around to like mm -hmm. yeah, try new things. Exactly. Totally. Next up, I have the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Face Polish. And this is sort of a cream exfoliator. And it says, this creamy scrub with purifying microbeads cleanses and exfoliates, removing dead skin cells to leave skin smooth and even toned. Now I got this at Holtz a couple years ago with one of the beauty bag vouchers. So I got like 10 or $15 off because this nice. is not the cheapest and I think that most of our products today it's they're sort of there's a range there's some like drugstore pricing but there's also really some high-end pricing um, so this is definitely a little bit more of a mid-range high-end but I like this because it's it's creamy without being over creamy like I'm a huge texture person and recently when I talked about the Vasanti um, enzymatic face rejuvenator that one just felt gross like there's something about it was just really unsettling hmm. but this is actually quite nice yeah and like if you are oily or if you have oilier skin you'll know that you don't really want to exfoliate every single day so I generally use this maybe about once a week to once every two weeks and it just makes my skin super smooth and so I would definitely recommend this to anyone so the cream exfoliator that I want to share is like one of my secret weapons um, it's also a high you know, cost or high-ish cost. Mm -hmm. um, so one time when I was pampering myself at the Elmwood Spa, the Elmwood Spa is a spa in Toronto, okay. and they have their own line of products. So this cream exfoliator comes from the Elm line, and it's an AHA cream exfoliator, and um, it is a little bit higher cost, but um, you're, it's recommended to only use maybe once a week. I use this only probably once a month. Um, so I use my cleanser, I dry my face off, I actually, you apply this dry, okay. which is different. And then it says that you um, rub it into your face for about a minute, and then you rinse it off, and my skin looks magical. Ooh. Like, this is, everyone must try this. If you 
can set a little money aside to get something like this, I would really, really recommend it. Um, the texture of my skin after using this is flawless. So. Yeah, Tyler always looks really nice. Yeah, I noticed that your skin always looks really nice. So oh, thank you. That's Elmwood Spa. I'll leave the link down below. I think that, um, yes, I, I passed it the other day. Um, it's on Church? It's on Elm Street. Elm Street. Yeah, it's so, close to the Eaton Center. Okay, so I'll leave a link down below. I'll find their site so that way you can check them out. Next up, I'm going to be talking about a micellar water or a makeup remover, and this is Bioderma. Now, Bioderma is on YouTube a lot. Uh, you see it in vlogs, you see beauty blogs, and so on. Lots of people use this, and you know, it's a cleansing water, so you don't really need to rinse this off, and I like this because it doesn't burn your eyes like a lot of makeup removers do, and it's you know it says that it cleanses removes makeup and soothes and this is formulated for sensitive skin as well you can get this at shoppers drug mart and for this giant bottle it's about i think it's like 30 bucks but you don't really use it up fast like i've it looks you know, like it would last quite a long time yeah like here's i use it to basically follow up whenever i'm being super lazy and using just makeup remover wipes instead of using like cleansing oil and fully going mm. for it but because usually they say don't use makeup wipes because it doesn't take everything off your face and so when I use that and then I'll just use a couple of cotton pads with Bioderma and it just gets mm. everything off and then you don't have to rinse your face after you just go to bed and be lazy so yeah Bioderma it's definitely worth the hype and I would say you know if you haven't tried it before they have little travel size ones at shoppers that's like six dollars or something so you can definitely give it a go and cool. see if this is for you uh, I have a toner that I want to share um, so this is um, the green tea toner from the face shop. Love the face uh, shop. Obsessed with the face shop. Um, I love the face shop for so many reasons. Uh, the price point is so reasonable. Their products are so reasonably priced. Um, this is I think around $12. Um, as you can see, I'm almost done. It does everything a toner that a toner that you would want a toner to do. It's oil free and it doesn't dry your skin out. And I just like it. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> So, yeah. I, I think the face shop is pretty underrated because I actually never tried anything from there and I never really went in before until I think probably sometime in the fall and then I noticed, I think it was like they were having their Black Friday sale and I thought, okay, may as well just go in and then I went in with my friend Laura and then we just ended up buying a whole bunch of stuff yeah. and been pretty impressed. So I think definitely when I'm through all my Kiel stuff, I'm definitely going to try out some more from the face shop just because... You know, while it's nice to splurge in skincare and skincare is worth it, it's equally as nice to find things that work just as well for maybe a fraction of the cost. Exactly. And sometimes I find products that work even better or, you know, it's the best product that I can find. I find price doesn't, isn't always, you know, the most important factor. And it's not like you necessarily indicative of whether or not exactly. it's Exactly. It's going to work for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. My next product is another Kiehl's. Ooh. And it is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. And as I said, this is part of the Ultra Facial line, which I basically use everything, the toner as well. But this cream is super, it's it's not thick, but it feels very, it feels very rich. And it just provides a lot of moisture. It provides that for, it says 24 hour. Um, it says everyday hydrating formula with extracts of glacial glycoproteins and desert plants. Hello. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know, but I've had this for over two years, and I still have maybe a third left of it, so it's That's pretty good. Left in there. You don't need a lot, so again, there's no, no scent. scent, not really a scent to yeah, it. Yeah, it's no scent free. Exactly. So, uh, th yeah, I've been using this almost every day for the last two and a bit years, and it's still it's still kicking. So, it's definitely worth the investment because this was forty at the time forty six fifty. But I may have gotten this when I went to the states. But you can definitely get it here at Kiehl's and also at the Kiehl's counters at Holtz and Hudson's Bay. So. And when do you use that? Do you use it in the morning. Yes. So okay. basically, like right after I like shower and whatnot, and I've cleansed everything and it's all good, I tone and then I wait for the toner to dry and then I'll put this on and then I'll start using like primer for my makeup and then go on. Cool. But yeah, it's definitely pretty lightweight, but it feels really hydrating. It looks super hydrating. So good. I don't know if you find this too, but sometimes I have like a summer cream and a winter cream um, because sometimes the creams that I like to use um, in the summer. Are lighter and then obviously in the winter mm -hmm. it'll be a lot heavier but um the cream that I want to share is another uh, face shop purchase that I've made the aloe fresh oil free light emulsion cream and I picked this up when I was living in the Middle East Ooh. but uh 
Yeah. Yeah. Tyler's um, a world traveler. I've been nowhere. <laughs> But I think, I think they are bringing this to Toronto. Oh, okay. I keep asking. I keep going back. I love it because it's really moisturizing, but it's super light, and it sort of is absorbed into the skin really, really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so I love it for that reason. And um, I don't really like that feeling of like having cream, feeling the cream after. Oh, when it's thick? Yeah, when it's really thick. Yeah. So, and I think for a guy too, like, I don't know. I feel like all guys would probably want the cream to sort of absorb in there. Yeah, because you don't want to... Yeah, I get you. I get yeah, what you're saying. Me. You don't want to be... Yeah. I get that feeling. No, I agree. Like, sometimes uh, skincare that works, like, for the winter, definitely you don't want the same thing in the summer. And that's basically going to be, like, my next few products. I recently did a skincare, like, winter skincare superstars on my blog. And the next product is definitely on it. But I can feel that this is probably going to be too thick for when it gets warmer out. But this is the First Aid Beauty Hydro Firm Sleeping Cream. And it is a thicker consistency because it is a night cream, mm -hmm. um, but it leaves your skin feeling super, super soft. And it's just, it's fantastic. Again, very lightly right. scented. Oh, that smells great. Yeah, I don't really, ha I don't like heavily scented products in my mm -hmm. face. Um, so this is definitely a really good purchase. I mean, I got this, I think in January and since then I've been using it every day and it just provides so much hydration. But again, yeah, definitely in the summer, I don't think I'm going to need it as much, but, uh, yeah, give it, give this one a go. I just noticed, I'm like, we're kind of far away. Should I be closer? <laughs> Zoom in. I don't, I don't know. Either way, uh, I'll, I'll list obviously all the products down below. So if there's anything that you can't see, um, sorry, <laughs> and uh, just find the information down below. It's all going to be down below. Exactly. <laughs> Everything, just all there. So the next product that I wanted to show you and tell you about is, you know, if I was stranded on an island mm -hmm. and I was only allowed to have one thing, this next product would be it. Desert Island product. Desert Island. Stuck by myself. That would be fun. Um, Le Grand Bluff by Nicole. This is an amazing product. Let me tell you about this product. I'm it, just amazed, uh, first of all, I'm just amazed at how you said that, because I'm like, wow, that sounds very, exactly. <laughs> I can't do that. I I tried to say that like, le, yep, le grand bloof. Let me zoom in so you can give that There we go. go. Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I love this product. So let me explain what this product is. It is a perfecter, flawless skin effect. So essentially, it's a tinted cream for men. Um, and for any skin type, you can be dark skin, light skinned, you know, see through, blue, purple, I don't know, but it works for everyone. <laughs> okay. um, it's great because it takes my dark circles under my eyes away, it evens out my skin tone, and it just makes me look good. So I like that. Yep. You used to be able to purchase this at Holt Renfrew, and uh, I don't know, rumor has it that L'Oreal bought this company and they're deciding what they're gonna do with the different lines, but I really hope that more products like this come out for men because you know there's nothing to be ashamed about using a tinted cream as a guy because it makes you look hot and yeah. I like looking hot so yeah guys yeah. You, like skincare is important because if your skin looks like you know if it looks crappy then the ladies or the gentlemen they're not really gonna want to talk to you or I don't know maybe you that's feel great special. when you look good and when your skin exactly. looks great you feel you know you feel good so exactly confidence boost mm -hmm. word <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you may have noticed Tyler's sort of looking there. I just told him that the camera's over on this side, but it's Oops. his first time, so we're going to forgive him for that because... Please forgive me. I'm just glad that he's here, or I'm here and in his apartment. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so, my last two products are actually things that would go with the whole like different weather things and different what's appropriate and so on. I can't even speak anymore because I'm just getting right. flustered. But the it's the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, and although I would say that this is great for year round. Um, definitely when the weather gets a bit warmer and I get really oily. I like using the Pretty Cosmetics Rose and Citrus Purifying Serum. Mm -hmm. And I got this one at uh, the Truth Beauty Company in Waterloo. And I've linked okay. it before and I talked about it before. Um, that store, they uh, basically they sell all sort of like natural and organic uh, beauty mm -hmm. products and skincare. So uh, definitely I love the smell of this one. This is like, these two are the only scented things that I actually enjoy on my face because this one smells really fresh. So this is the purifying one. Oh yeah, that's, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. So it's fresh and delicious. And then that one is just... Oh, I like that too. Yeah, that one has like lavender and so on. So it's really relaxing for nighttime. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the Kiehl's one apparently balances out your oils. And then this one definitely just helps control oil. So if you have normal 
skin or like maybe even drier skin, this is definitely a good go. But if you have oilier skin or if your skin gets really greasy, um, when it's hot out, then definitely give the Purifying Serum a try. I'm gonna share another face shop product. And uh, this is the Oil Control Film. Have you used these before? I haven't used the face shop ones, but I've used like, I think ones from Elf and Sephora and so on. Yeah, so oh. it's like a little blue leaflet sheet doodad that you um, just sort of dab on your face mm -hmm. and it gets rid of all of the extra excess oil that you might have on your face. Um, you know, it's good to use at like midday and day and uh, it's kind of gross how oily your face can get. Or, you know, how sweaty you get when you're yeah. filming because, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. So I love it and I use it often and it just, it's good. Yeah. So, I like, I think a lot of, oil. yeah, I think a lot of people like carry some sort of oil control, like blotting papers anyway, um, or at least they probably should. It helps a lot um, just because, yeah, sometimes your face gets shiny and it, they, they definitely do the trick. I'm interested in, let's see, Okay, so they're, they just, the texture looks cool. Like, I have ones from Sephora that look like really thin tissue paper. Okay. But these ones, like, it's still thin, but I don't know. I might have to give these a try. And, like, how much would you say this was? I think that was, like, two bucks. Yeah. Something just Nothing. crazy. So uh, I will definitely be giving that a try next time I go to the face shop. Do it. Yeah. And I think men shouldn't be afraid to use something like this because I've seen some pretty greasy... Yeah. Men face out there. Oh yeah. Ooh, I mean, not good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think we have to just, I think people have to get over the whole like, well, skincare is like, uh, skin is skin. Exactly. Skin is skin. Yeah, yeah. Get over the whole like, well, it's like stuff my girlfriend does or stuff that, that I'm not going to get into or if like yada, yada, yada. Like just, just get over that because having nice skin is definitely, you know, it's good and it feels good when people compliment you on your skin too. And they're just like, man, what have you, what are you doing? To, like, are you using something different and so on? So yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. I this think that's fun. it. Yeah. I had a blast. Good. We should do this again. <laughs> I think so too. Uh, yeah. I would say thumbs up if you want to see more Tyler. Because I think we should see more Tyler anyway, because we don't see each other too often. I know, we should see each other more often. Yeah. yeah. So... Let's go for lunch. Okay. Either way, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about any of the products, please feel free to leave it down below. And either myself or Tyler, I'll probably ask him to answer it. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll answer those questions. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.